Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 7th of 2020, well, it is titled the Pipe Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, can you see the pipe in this image stretching across the sky? Uh, we can see going towards the upper right, the stem of the pipe, and then down towards the lower left, the bowl of the pipe. So those are stretched across, and those are what we call a dark nebula. A dark nebula is a dark, dusty area uh, where generally stars are forming. And it means that there, the fact that we see that much dust blocking out the light is that there's a lot more material there. Now, it's still nowhere dense by earthly standards. It's still very, uh, very empty in terms of space. But when you have dust scattered across light years, you only need a particle here and there to eventually block out all of the light. It's kind of like looking at a forest. When you look through the trees to a forest, the trees are not necessarily super close together. But if you look off over a long distance, eventually your line of sight reaches one of those trees so you can't see out of the forest until you get close to the edge. Well, the same thing here. When you look through one of these dark nebulae, what it means is that no matter where you look through it, your line of sight is eventually reaching a particle of dust. And in that case, you can't see any further. And eventually, if there's enough dust there, even spread over many light years, it will eventually block out all of that material, giving us the dark areas we see. However, the amount of material behind this is just the same as any other part of this image. So just because it's darker in certain areas does not mean it's a lack of material. It's actually the presence of more material blocking out this region. Now, what happens within a dark nebula? Well, this is a region of star formation. So we will see that there are stars forming within, the, within this. So within this, we could look in, we would actually see new stars beginning to form. So just as we looked at young stars forming yesterday with the Trifid Nebula and the star cluster M21, we can see that there would be star formation here. However, it's hidden to us from the dust. However, could we look at this in infrared light? Infrared is better at being able to penetrate through the dust and would allow us to look deeper into this. We would actually see cores of stars that are beginning to collapse and to form new stars. So we could see the stars that are actually forming there. And that's one of the regions that uh, star, for, uh, star formation studies have increased so much since we've been able to look through these nebulae, since we've developed the technology to be able to look at infrared radiation and study longer wavelengths that allow us to penetrate through these dust clouds and actually look inside them. So while they may be very beautiful optically, as in the image we see today, and to actually be able to see through them is very important for astronomers studying how stars can form. So that was our picture of the day for August the 7th of 2020. It was titled The Pipe Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.